Hey racers, John Race with you today, back again for the last day of the Winter GT Cup. And as you can see, laid out in front of me, we have all of the eliminated cars from last week's tournament. If you haven't watched that tournament yet, highly recommend it. Make more sense for why you're watching this tournament. But here we have all of the winners and second place finishers from last week to compete to see which team is the best GT team from Hot Wheels on the three lane double turn fat track course. Now, if you guys decided to ride, hopefully you guys see the ride that you decided here a few weeks back. We have Team Lamborghini with four cars, Lotus and Aston Martin both with three cars left. We have the BMW M3s, the Vipers, and the Corvette C7s, as well as, ironically, the Porsche 911s with two cars left, and then our final one car teams, we have a Ford GT, a Corvette C8, and we're no sport, and Mercedes-Benz AMG, we have a retro Nissan, and then we also have a McLaren F1. Now, some unfortunate happenings, the BMW Z4s did not make it to the next round, the Bentleys did not make it to the next round, those are the two big teams that weren't able to make it, as well as Cadillac, and then we also have some smaller teams, like the old Ford GTs, the Nissan GTR, Nismo, Ferrari, a whole bunch of old, Corvettes, old Porsches, all that, weren't able to make it, but these are the finalists for today. Now, let's look at the matchups and I'll show you guys how it's gonna work. So lined up are the matchups the cars are going to be in. Now the method behind the organizing is it is pretty random, but I made sure like Lamborghinis weren't racing other Lamborghinis, the Corvettes weren't racing each other, the Asmarns weren't racing each other, the Lotuses, etc, etc. And the cars are shuffled among themselves. Now there are going to be six matchups, which means one victor from each of these matchups is going to go into the final race, which is going to be a longer race, maybe like seven laps. And then the races that these cars are going to be competing in are going to be like three lap races. It's pretty much going to be what you guys have seen earlier. But that's a smaller amount of cars, which means the last lap is way more open to see who will win. Because starting in the back doesn't always mean you're out of the picture. Now, let's go ahead and start with these matchups. These matchups are going to go quick since there are only four cars and the rule still stands from the last tournament. If the car flips over and wrecks on the fat track, it is done, it is out, it is not racing anymore, and it is out for the race. So let's go ahead, let's get these matchups of four cars racing because the winner of the third lap, I might as well just re recap the rules real quick. So it's not like a... Um, most wins takes the win sort of thing. It is a circuit kind of thing. So this inside lane is going to be lane one, two, three, four, five, six. Lane one being the advantage because you have the inside run going into the fat track turn. Now there's going to be three laps. So after the first lap, the car that's farthest on this track will be starting in lane one, lane two, lane three, based on how far they are on the track. This just shuffles up the order to see which car is the fastest going on, called laps, and then after the third lap, the car that wins the race will be moving on to the finale. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm super excited for this. We have some extremely fast cars. Surprisingly, a lot of Hot Wheels ID cars made it back for the races, which I'm very excited for. So let's go ahead and get to the racing. All right, let's start off with race one. We have our one Ford GT in the race going up against a Viper, a Lotus, and a Nissan. Let's see who takes it in lap one. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. It is a fast from the, from the Lotus. Lotus is easily lead the first lap with the Ford in second, and Lotus passing the Viper to get third. Here we go into lap two. The Lotus is currently leading with the Ford in second, and the Nissan in third. Three, two, one. And look at that, the Nissan is going to surpass all of the modern day GT cars and take the win for the second lap. One more lap to decide who's moving on to the finals. For the Nissan and the Ford, this could be it. Last lap, winner of this lap moves on. Lotus and Dodge have more cars in this tournament, but for Ford and Nissan, it could be over for that team. Let's go ahead and see who takes it in three, two, one. And look at that, the Nissan with a dominant performance is gonna pass the Lotus on the second turn, taking the win and moving on to the finals, beating out the Lotus, the Dodge, and of course, the Ford, who is out of the tournament for good. Here we go, heat two of the semifinals, and we have a Corvette C7, an Aston Martin, and a Lotus, and then we also have a Renault. This is Renault's last car in this tournament too, who got out, got into this tournament on such a lucky last race. So let's see how they do during lap one. Three, two, one. 
Look at that. It is going to be Corvette, Lotus, Renault in the front row, and Aston Martin starting in the back for lap two. Here we go. The cars enter lap two. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. There has been not a wipeout, but the Lotus misses the corner on the straightaway. He gets loose, and it's going to be the Corvette starting on the inside for lap three with the Renault in second, and the Aston Martin still in fourth. All of the cars in this race have another chance to move on for their team, except for the Renault, who is starting in lane two. Let's see who wins on lap three. Three, two, one. It's going to be close, but the Renault sneaks it on the outside. The Corvette and the Lotus both lose it on the straightaway, and it's going to be the Renault taking the win, moving on to the final race. Wow, what a performance. And we have a wipeout by the Aston Martin, who just did not have it. Our next race is going to be a fast one. We have an AMG, a Lamborghini, an M3, and a Porsche 911 GT1. Now, this Lamborghini is a fast one, plus every single race after this in the semifinals has a Lamborghini in it, so Lamborghini has a pretty good chance of moving on in this tournament. So let's go ahead and see who wins lap one in three, two, one. Look at that, it is a close race, but it's gonna be Lamborghini taking the win, followed closely by the BMW and the Mercedes. The 911 is fast, but he was just not able to find a way around these front three cars on that first lap. Let's see how he does this lap. Three, two, one. And look at that, it is gonna be the Lamborghini leading this lap again with the Porsche in second and the Mercedes in third. An unfortunate spin out for the BMW. This is what this Porsche was looking for, a front row spot for the last lap. But that Lamborghini has been unbelievably fast. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. Oh, it's gonna be an blowout. The Mer not the Mercedes. The Porsche is gonna take the win with the Mercedes finishing in second and the Lamborghini finishing in third. The Lamborghini absolutely botched that race, which is unfortunate for the Lamborghini, but the Porsche, the purple Porsche, is moving on. An unfortunate series of events for Mercedes. That was their last car in the tournament, so they are unfortunately out for good. Now, in this next race, we have a Dodge Viper, an Aston Martin, a Lamborghini, and a Corvette C8. The C8 starting in the back and is the underdog, because this, this is the first GT tournament they have competed in, and there's two Hot Wheels ID cars and a Lamborghini racing against them. This is going to be a fast one. Let's see who wins. Lap one, three, two, one. Oh man, it is a fast race. The Lamborghini is going to be shoved off the track. It's going to be the Dodge Viper and Aston Martin finishing first, second. Lamborghini finishing third. This is a final attempt for the Viper, who is currently starting on the pole position, and the Corvette starting behind him. Let's see who wins lap two. Three, two, one. Oh, and it is a wipeout by the Viper. It's going to be the Lamborghini and the Aston Martin first and second. Viper is going to start third with the Corvette behind him going into lap three. Here's the starting grid. We have Lamborghini in first, Aston Martin in second, Viper in third, and Corvette in fourth. Viper and Corvette, last ditch efforts to make it to the final round for their team. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. It's going to be close, but it's going to be Aston Martin passing the Lamborghini to take the win on the third lap. Moving on for Aston Martin. Corvette gave it all he had, but the Corvette C8s are out of the tournament, and the Viper flipped over on his roof for Hot Wheels ID. Is unfortunately not making it to the next round either. Aston Martin moves on. Here we go, starting heat five. We have a Porsche 911 on the pole. And right next to it is a BMW M3 GT2, a Lotus E4, and then we have a Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo starting in the back. Let's see who takes it in lap one. And look at that, it is a close one, but it's gonna be the Lotus taking the first lap with the Porsche starting in second and the Lamborghini passing the BMW to start in third. This is a last ditch effort for both the Lotus team and the BMW team. The Porsche already has a car into the finale and the Lamborghini does not yet. Let's see who takes it on lap two. That Porsche is just extremely fast. Starting on the pole for the last lap, we have Lamborghini in second and then the BMW in third with Lotus in fourth. These Porsche 911s are just too overpowered on this track, it seems. One more lap to decide who moves on to the next round. Again, the Porsche already has a car from its team into the next round. Can Lamborghini, BMW, or Lotus take it? Let's find out in three, two, one. It's gonna be close. Lamborghini looks at the inside, but it's not gonna be enough. The Porsche 911 is gonna get their second car into the finals, knocking out the Lamborghini 
and both teams, Lotus and BMW M3, are out of the tournament. This is it, we got Heat 6 and the final cars before the finale. We have a Corvette C7 Hot Wheels ID, Aston Martin Vantage GT3, Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo, and right behind it, a McLaren F1. For some reason, these retro cars have proved to be extremely fast. Let's see who takes it in lap one. Three, two, one. And look at that, a spin out from the Corvette unfortunately blocks out the Lamborghini for taking the lead. Corvette leads the first lap with the Aston Martin in second and Lamborghini in third. F1 wipes out. Well, not wipes out, but he's starting for We've got our front row and rear row aligned for race number two. Three, two, one. Oh, this is gonna be a fast one. Look, the Corvette Hot Wheels ID car is gonna hold the lead. Lamborghini in second, Aston Martin in third, F1 in fourth going into the last lap. All of these cars are extremely bunched up on that last corner, so it is gonna be a last ditch effort for all of these teams to get their car into the final race to see if they can win the championship. Let's see who takes it in lap three. Three, two, one. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo passing the Corvette on the last straightaway. That is unbelievable. The yellow Lamborghini beats out the Hot Wheels ID Corvette, taking the win for Lamborghini and being the last car to move on to the final matchup. And here you have it. Here are the final six cars racing for the championship. We have Team Nissan with the Nissan... I forgot the name right. The Nissan R300 GT1. From the Retro Series, which is very surprising, we have the Underdog Renault Sport RS01. We have two Porsche 911 GT1s, and then we also have an Aston Martin Vantage GT3 Hot Wheels ID and a Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. Now, this is going to be a five-lap shootout to see which car is going to take the win today. Again, if you wipe out, you're done for, and in the final race, that could end everyone. So we're gonna start it on the heat. Lane one, two, three, four, five, six, based on heat, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see which champion will be crowned today. Here we go, lap numero uno. Let's see who takes it in three, two, one. And look at that carnage already. It's going to be the Porsche 911 in purple, Renault in second, and Aston Martin in third, yellow, or white Porsche in fourth, Nissan in fifth and Lamborghini in sixth coming out of the first lap. Here's the lineup as we enter lap two. Three, two, one. Oh, it's close. The purple Porsche is also going to lead lap two with the Renault in second and the Nissan in third. Lamborghini fourth, Aston Martin fifth. And we have a wipeout. The white Porsche 911 is going to flip. Wiping out and not being able to finish this race. That is unfortunate. Oh well, the purple 911 seems to be doing pretty good though. So hopefully their chances are not destroyed. Here we go as we enter lap three. Three, two, one. Oh, and look at that. The Nissan tries to pass the Porsche, but he's not going to be fast enough. Finishing in second, the Renault is in third. S. Martin in fourth. Lamborghini in fifth after lap three. The cars are all lined up as they enter two laps to go. Let's see who will finish on top for the final lap in three, two, one. And look at that, it is gonna be close. The Lamborghini sneaks on the inside of the Renault to take the win on lap four. This is crucial. Renault in second, Nissan in third, Porsche in fourth, and we have a wipeout. That is the Aston Martin wiping out with two laps to go on the back straightaway. That is unfortunate for Team Aston Martin as their chances are done. But we head into the last lap with the Lamborghini in first and the Porsche in last. It all comes down to this, folks. This is the final race of the 2021 Winter GT Cup and the last race on the channel for 2021. We have the Lamborghini starting in first, the underdog Renault starting in second, the Nissan starting in third, and the dominant Porsche starting in fourth. The Porsche will be pushing in the Lamborghini to turn one, and this could get messy. Any car has a chance to win, but who is it gonna be in three, two, one? It's close, the Renault out of nowhere sneaks the inside of the Nissan to take the victory in today's GT Car Tournament. That was completely unexpected. The Renault underdogging every single truck race that he was in today in the first heat. He did not stand a chance, was in the back row until the last lap where he snuck around the victor to take the win. 
unbelievable performance for the Renault, the underdog Renault beating out the Nissan who put up a great fight here in today's race, finishing in second, the Lamborghini finishing in third, and of course the purple Porsche finishing in fourth. A very good race by all of these cars, but the winner is gonna be Team Renault. Thank you guys so much for watching this tournament, and of course, congrats to everyone who chose the Renault team to take the victory today. If there's no one on the screen, then no one guessed the Renaults, which I guess is just more information for next tournament when we do this next year. I think I want to make this GT tournament a yearly thing with all of the GT cars Hot Wheels has been coming out with, so make sure you stay tuned for the GT tournament to come later next year. But yeah, this actually concludes all of the tournaments I have planned for the 2021 season of John Ace the YouTube, YouTube channel Hot Wheels tournaments and the victor is the Renault. It's been an absolutely crazy year full of tournaments. Comment down below what you think your favorite tournament was on the channel this year and I will see you guys in a video coming to the channel very soon near you. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace!